In this video, I will show you several little known Google Chrome tips and tricks that will change how you experience the internet. Let's get started. So as you can see from my Chrome browser, I clearly have a problem. I use the internet so much that I have way too many tabs open and it's actually becoming a problem, making it harder to use the internet. Let's look at some ways that I could manage this a little better using Google Chrome. My first tip is if you have a web page or a website that you tend to visit a lot, you can pin it so that Google Chrome treats it a little bit differently than the other tabs that you have. So this is a website I use a lot. I love music, specifically synth pop music. And so I visit this site all the time to work on my collection. So what I can do is I can right click on that tab and choose pin and look what happens. That tab is now pinned to the left side of Google Chrome. Now, what if I pin another tab? If I do that, it also moves to the left and I've got two pinned tabs. Tabs that are not pinned cannot move to the left of those pinned tabs. They're just not allowed to. So that can help you to organize your tabs in a more thoughtful way. I always will know that these two tabs are pinned to the left. The next few tips have to do with closing tabs that you no longer need. Let's say you're going through your tabs in Chrome and closing some of them. Instead of just clicking one by one to close those tabs, you can click on one of the tabs and then hold the shift key and then click on the tab furthest to the right or maybe furthest to the left that you would like to close. And then you can right click and choose close and all of those tabs will be closed all at once. Let's try it out. I select all of those, right click, close. Oh, that's very satisfying. Now, every once in a while, when I'm closing tabs, I make a mistake and I close a tab that I didn't mean to close. Sometimes I'm not quite sure what it was, but I get this feeling that I've lost something important. So if you ever regret closing a recently closed tab, just hold Control, Shift, and tap the letter T on the keyboard, and your most recently closed tab will open back up. If you do that again, it'll bring the next one, and again the next one, until you get all of your tabs back. There's another quick way to close a lot of tabs, and that is to right click on one tab and choose close tabs to the right. When you select that, everything to the right of the tab that you have is closed. The next tip I have for you is to group tabs that go together. So for example, I have a few tabs that have music content on them. It looks like it's this tab through this tab. I could click on one of the tabs, let's say to the furthest left or right, and then hold the shift key and then click on the furthest tab again to the right or left, depending, so that all of the tabs that have something in common are selected. And then just right click on one of the tabs and choose add tabs to new group. When you do that, you get to name the group. I'll call this music. I could give the tab a certain color, maybe blue. Now when I click away, notice what I get. All of the tabs that I grouped have a little bit of an outline of blue, and then here's the title, and if I click on the title of the group, the group is collapsed underneath that title. If I want all of the individual tabs back, I can just click on music in this case, and the tabs open back up. Now if I right click on that music group name, notice what else I can do. I can add a new tab to that group and navigate to another music website. That is now part of the same group. Other things I can do by right clicking on the group title include I can ungroup them, I can close the group, or I could move the group to a new window just by clicking here. Now I have a browser window that's made up only of this group. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back into my other browser, but what a great feature these groups are in Google Chrome. Now again, if you're like me and have too many tabs, it can be very hard to find what you need to find. Maybe a couple of days ago you found a wonderful website and you were using it and everything was going great, but then maybe you have trouble finding that tab again. It's just lost in a sea of tabs. All you have to do is go here to this little V it looks like, but I think it's meant to be an arrow. Click on that and then you can search through your open tabs. So I'm gonna search for a band that I was listening to on YouTube. There it is. And I can click to switch to that tab. So this is a great feature in Google Chrome to help you sift through all the tabs you have open and find the exact one you're looking for. Now notice, if you browse down the list, it also shows your recently closed tabs. What a great feature. That way you can quickly get back to a tab even that's already been closed. The next couple of tips have to do with sound or music. Have you ever been using Google Chrome when suddenly one of your tabs starts making sounds? 
Maybe you were watching the news on one of the tabs and you paused it, but for some reason it unpauses. That happens to me quite often. So let's say you're just working on the internet or you're browsing the internet and all of a sudden sounds start playing and you don't want them to be playing. In many cases, if you don't have too many tabs like I do right now, and I'm going to minimize the music group so that I have a little bit more space, but in many cases you'll be able to see which tab is playing the music or the audio. So for example, I'm going to click play on this video and I'll turn it down a little bit and I'm going to skip ahead a little bit in the video. But notice that there's a speaker icon here. That tells me that this is the tab that is playing the sound that I want to turn off. Now at this point, watch how easy it is for me to turn off that sound. All I have to do is right click on it and choose mute site. And now YouTube is muted. I could go to another YouTube video, open it up, and yeah, I could play the video, but no sound is being produced. Why? Because I've muted that tab. Now another option you have to help you control music or audio is if audio is playing, whether it's part of a video or just music from the internet, if audio is actually being produced, you should see over here in the upper right, this symbol here, and you can click on it to control the music without being on the actual tab. So let's say I'm over here on Wikipedia and I'm working, but I'd like to pause this video that I'm listening to. I could just go over here, click on this button and pause the video. I can also skip ahead in the video, rewind the video, and there's even a picture-in-picture -picture option. And if I want, I can switch to another video million dollars. or audio, and it's all done through this button here. Okay, hopefully you've liked these tips so far. The final tips all have to do with the bookmarks bar. Now, if you've already used the bookmarks bar many times, keep watching because I have some new tips for you that you probably don't know. Many of you are probably already aware that if there's a website that you like and you need to visit it a lot or maybe you need it for work or for your family or whatever it might be and you want easy access to it, you can activate this bookmarks bar below the search bar. The way you activate the bookmarks bar is by clicking here on these three dots and choosing bookmarks, show bookmarks bar. So I've deselected it and it hid the bookmarks bar, but I'm going to bring it back. And now that I've got that, anytime I visit a website that I want easy, quick access to, I can just click here on the icon to the left of the web address. It's usually a lock symbol and I can click and drag and drop it onto the bookmarks bar. And now no matter what other website I'm on, I can just click that button and it will take me to, in this case, discogs.com. So I could very quickly add some of my favorite websites to this bookmarks bar and have easy, quick access to all of them. Now, when people find out about this, typically what happens next is they proceed to add way too many shortcuts to the bookmarks bar. So then what do you do? Well, there's a couple of options you have. You can right click on the bookmarks bar and set up folders. So I'm gonna add a folder and again, I'm gonna call this music and I'll click save. So now I have a music folder on the bookmarks bar. I can click and drag and put it where I want it to be. And then I can click and drag to put some of the bookmarks into that music bookmarks folder. So I'll just click and drag and put them there. So now much less real estate is taken up on the Google Chrome bookmarks bar. If I need to get to any of those music sites, I can just click on the music folder and then select the correct website. Another trick that I find to be very helpful is, let's say I know just by looking at this icon what web page this is. This is eBay. I recognize that little icon as being part of their visual set. So I don't really need all of these extra words. So what I can do is right click on that bookmark on the bookmarks bar, choose edit, and then just delete the text. Click save, and now it takes up much less space. Let's do the same thing with wheel of names. I'll just delete out the names, click save, and now anytime I need to randomly pick a name of my students in my class, I can just click this wheel and it takes me to the Wheel of Names website. So when you're using the bookmarks bar, when you use folders and or when you delete out the names of the websites that you add to the bookmarks bar, you're able to fit a lot more bookmarks to great websites on your bookmarks bar. So those are a few of my favorite tips and tricks about using Google Chrome. I hope you found them to be helpful. If you have, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that by clicking the thanks button below the video. Or you could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video.